used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. So you all moved in? Um, not... not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? I don't know how people... Uh, he's just a guy? What else would he be? No, but isn't there, like, a term for it? Um, stepbrother, technically. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic, grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there, or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy, the, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, Basically, right now, about our thing. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see.
Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren... Can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Jonas, uh, come on. I vouched for you sight unseen and you're already acting super weird. And I appreciate the voucher, I do, and I'm not trying to seem weird. I just want two minutes alone, that's it. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all... Come on, Jonas, this is... Let's just all go up. I don't want to send Ren away like a deer hound. Yeah, it's fine. And you can talk to Alex later. We're like at hour one here. You'll have ample family bonding time. Uh, yeah, fine, sure, no problem. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, really? That's kind of gross. Yeah, sex is gross. So disgusting. Man, get a room, you soldiers. So to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. <laughs> Improper acts. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex. It's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves. The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the, it's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds, and they're impossible. No way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. Oh, God. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side I of the- I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll, please. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. Brent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah. Never mind. I don't need you to look out for me. College is college is college. Who cares if I play beer pong here or in Vermont or anywhere else? It doesn't matter. Okay, well, we're just going to table this discussion for when I'm better prepared and I can destroy you. <sighs> Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. Oh, shut up. What else would you be doing? Good point. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it.
Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j- just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Ren, relax. Oh, what was the thing you wanted to say to Alex Jonas? You can just pretend I'm like a stray dog and just leave it alone, Ren. All right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying. I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh well. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's. Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother. Really? Yeah, I know. It's yeah, tr- you think he'd be a little old to need a babysitter, but here we are. <laughs> yeah, if I don't have anyone to burp me, it becomes a real issue. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... (sighs) Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... (laughs) We took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... (laughs) Oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? (laughs) Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's... Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona invited me though begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. (laughs) I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as No, a- we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. I haven't played this since I was like 10. Can't we do something else? Come on, it's a good way to start out the night. One round, it'll help everybody relax. The booze will do that too. 
Maybe I'll just be an innocent bystander? Well, I guess if you really want. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start. Ren! Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! We oh, oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like- Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's- I just like her as a friend. That's- that's all. She's cool. She's- Oh, liar? Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. You can practically smell it on him. He- you told me you liked her. Why did you even try to cover- You knew I knew. I'm standing right here. Because you said you weren't even playing. She can jump in. It's only the first round. Oh, come on! All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. This really doesn't. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> she said I didn't think you had it in you. Yeah, she's full of surprises. Backstabbing surprises. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Um, no, no. <laughs> yes? All right, let's uh, make it something... Uh, Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, please? Of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, there, he's he's a nice guy. You're, you're a nice guy. And uh, we goof off and, yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. Um, Nona, you're up? Oh. Uh, Clarissa, if you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A small black spot so she could tell everyone it was just a mole. I'd get, like, a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm... Is there like a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, uh... just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure on You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- like... Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt, or playing Ring Around the Rosie, happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Uh, in a sec, okay? Yeah, just let me know. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We never I talked about living, John. Huh? 
Uh, yep. Let's hop this thing and check in with Run. All right, let's do it. Come on, I'll push you over. Whenever you're ready. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? I don't know. A one? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. Ren, I'm standing right here. Oh, you know, I keep forgetting you're a girl. Oh, and what the hell was up with you and the whole Nona thing with the gang? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun, but I'm trying to get in with this girl and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. It's fine, I'm sure, but tomorrow she'll have forgotten all about it. I hope so, jeez. Just be a little less rough next time. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Yeah, the ceiling will be painted with our gray matter, I'm sure. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, Bra you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but... You know, if you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. No, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have this thing about crawling into strange, dark, wet places that might cave in at any moment. It's not gonna... Come on, I can see it from here. It's not that far. We'll be in and out. <laughs> in and out. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Jonas, don't! Well, I am going to just rest against here, because I think... Shh, 
I think I mismeasured the mat. Where are you? I bring an ashtray down here or a pen. See a man about a dog. Why did you Duh. run off without waiting Jesus, for me? You scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but, you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. Yeah, sure, it's amazing. Can we just, like, go now? Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person, almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no... Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Can we just go, please? I really don't like it here. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? What? Wow, how is that... Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? No, where? It's like in the, the air, right there. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows. Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. No. No way. There's like 20 things wrong with that idea, with the number one being radios don't conjure light beams. Come on, it happened outside. It's not that far-fetched. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Maybe, um, later. Come on. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. 
Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? I can't even... Like, what is... What? Shut up! Alex! Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you- uh, I'm, uh, I'm fine. God. You sure? I'm as sure as I think I'm gonna be. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of... I don't know. This is kind of exciting, right? Exciting? Alex, we don't... To think something's exciting, you kind of have to know what that something is first. And we just got crapped out of the laser light show from hell, so... Oh, come on. Are you scared? Is that it? You scared? Yeah, I'm scared. So far as I don't want to get hurt or killed, and I don't want my new sister to get hurt or killed either. Let's live to regret this, okay? It's more of a rooster, but I get it. I'm a chicken, thanks. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to come- Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid, I'd rob a bank! Maybe that's your Wednesday. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Any equipment it'll have will be like 80 years old. I don't know if I trust that. Even if it doesn't work, maybe we can get reception on our phones or something. But it's right here, and I want to try it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great.
Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. SOS? Mayday, Mayday, um... CQD? CQD? Come quick. Danger. It's... um... dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. The fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I- ah! Jesus! Well, um, are you gonna answer it, or what? Communications tower? Alex? Alex? <sighs> yeah, it's me. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank- Vishnu, I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff, I have no idea what happened, I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> really? Ren, just, it's been a rough night, you know? How'd you get this number? It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just- Ren, just calm down, okay? Breathe in through your mouth and out through your nose. It's the other way around! Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? Ren, what? it's just the other line, but whatever. They can wait. This is more important. Yeah, of course this is more important. I don't- like, Dick Harden's one thing, but I'm kind of super freaking freaked out right now. Like, this is not a drill. This is real world. Just come here, all right? Meet us here. Yeah, I don't even really know, like, how to get there. Ren, it's the giant tower you're apparently looking at right now. Just start walking. Is that the phone again? Don't click over. That has to be somebody, like, like a guard or something. Hold on, Ren. They keep calling, so it might be like a, a thing. No, come on, just... Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? Okay, if you're gonna yell at me, goodbye, Clarissa. Oh, really? Fine. I'm at Fort Milner with a working intercom if you care. God, goodbye, Alex. Ren, are you still there? Yeah, still here. Look, Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Well, either he dropped the phone in the toilet, or we just lost the line. So, want to truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest in Nabren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat it out for an hour. Sound logic. All right, our rescuing duties have officially commenced. Let's get this done and get off this rock like... The badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't get ahead of yourself. Act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Act as if.
So, just curious, but, um, what's your running theory? Well, you played with the radio, a triangle came out, the triangle talked, hung out a little, then drowned us, but not, and now we're here. Yep. That. Those were the events. Good talk. What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She is so annoying. God. Even when, like, the craziest crap is swirling around like a friggin' poop tempest, she still finds a way to be annoying. Well, that's, uh... That's a skill, at least. Wren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something, and we've been- Secret project? Like what? They finally harnessed the power of- Mind control. Yeah, mind control, and they've, um, made a mind control machine, and, um, and we've all been suffering like a collective mirage. Yeah, I'm not buying this theory. Sorry. Okay. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something about being- eh, Nobody cares anymore. There isn't a guard or anything. It's just a bunch of empty warehouses. You've been inside? Like you've done that light. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. I guess I should say I've heard that nobody really cares. I haven't been here myself. time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Oh, wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been, like, a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors, like in supermarkets? Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be locked. Come on. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? <sighs> yes, quite annoyingly. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to 
Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? I mean, just what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? You know, Jonas, frankly, I don't really know and I don't really care, so... All right, hey, it's old news, I get that. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of... I don't know... kind of morbid. Let's just find that girl and get out of here. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas! Wait! Jonas, why do you always run off first? It's not a race. Jonas, let me in! I'm not in the mood! Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then second of all, I can't get out. Just put your back into it. Be a man here, Jonas. We got stuff to do. I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When Jonas gets on your, uh, case about his mom, just do what you feel is best, okay? His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. W what is... Ow! I'm okay. Okay, what just happened because that that sucked uh clarissa ran in there disappeared into the walls yeah, and i'm not really one to hate stuff but i hated all of that oh here's a padlock code three four eighteen it's on a list of huh they call codes cookies is that slang or something i don't know but we got the combo so great hey did i did did you see that in in the mirror the reflection it was weird. Oh god, don't start bugging out on me, please. I'm not bugging out on you, I'm not a bug. Something happened in the mirror. Our reflections weren't right for a second. I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will make something happen. Okay, just don't be, like, stupid now. I just don't want anything to happen because you decided to play around. I'm not playing. I just want to... I just want to try this real quick. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything. I guess there might be another comm room or something. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. didn't happen, so let's just carry on. 